I'm amazed at how many people leave a key within feet of the front door, usually in the most obvious of places. If you have a key under a mat, above the door, or in a very obvious fake looking rock, you might as well just leave your doors unlocked. The key to keys is putting them someplace truly invisible. So ditch the fake rock and craft an ingenious false bottom on a potted plant like this. Using industrial strength Velcro, you can hide a key under a garden fence. Nobody would ever think to look there. And with a little PVC piping and a plastic cap, you can make a lawn sprinkler with a secret compartment. So beat the system, homeowners, and get creative. Because there's no shortage of new ways for criminals to get inside houses. We're pretty casual about flashing our keys in public or tossing them down on a table. But this is the 21st century, and keys are nothing more than a visual code that can now be digitally hacked. Nowadays, criminals don't even need to steal your key to make a copy of it. All they need is a photograph and a 3D printer, and they can create a plastic model that'll fit your lock like a glove. While it might seem like science fiction, these printers are becoming increasingly common. They lay down a liquid plastic in thin layers to create three-dimensional objects. Look at this. This is a perfectly functional, exact replica of the key, and the guy doesn't even know it's stolen. Just with a photograph, you could get something like this. This is why you can't just flash your keys out in public. You gotta use a key sheath. This is something simple, cheap, you can keep it on you, and it won't expose your keys. Because just one photograph, and boom, you're compromised. All right, so let's say the bad guys can't get a hold of your key. They can't get a photograph of it either. Just how easy is it to pick modern locks? Behind this door is you, your family, and all of your valuable possessions. You're safe and secure, right? Protected by the deadbolt? Not so much. The fact is, door lock technology hasn't advanced much over the years. The basic concept is simple. A grooved key pushes a set of pins known as tumblers into various positions. When they're all in the right spots, the key's free to turn a cam inside the lock cylinder and the door opens. And there are plenty of other tools that a crook can employ, like a bump key. It's a sort of skeleton key made by taking a normal key and filing down the teeth. By tapping on it, the vibration causes the pins in the lock to jump and jam into position. Watch. All you have to do is put it halfway into the lock, give it a couple of slams, and just like that, you're in. Newer, well-made locks are less susceptible to these bump keys, so be sure your front door is up to snuff.